Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Michael Schuta and his wife Els moved here from the Netherlands about six months ago. We didn't know what to expect when we stopped into their studio here in French Creek and it's safe to say it's pretty cool. We're going to share what we can with you today on Go. One woman's journey through homelessness is the Clippers goalie good at any other sports and back to the beginning with clock. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Our original plan today was to give me a painting lesson and Michael was up until midnight last night creating this and laying out the palettes to give me some lessons in painting. But after meeting Michael and discovering the quality and the range of things that he and his wife do here, we're going to forget about me and we're going to focus on Michael. We'll do that later on this edition of Go Island. But first, it's amazing how quickly the things that we take for granted, a job, a home, can quickly disappear. I had the chance to meet a young woman who had all of those things happened to her and thanks to support from local organizations she's back on her feet. Meet Jennifer. Mary's Place is operated by the Island Crisis Care Society. They also operate Samaritan House and they have a major fundraiser coming up. It's called the coldest night of the year. Shaw TV has participated for the last two years. We will be doing so again this year. The date is February the 22nd. There's still time to register and of course we'll take your donations of support as well. You can go to the website www.coldestnightoftheyear.org. You're watching Go Island. This is Michael. He was going to teach me to do some some painting today but I changed everything up because he's such an interesting and talented artist. Thank you. Welcome to Go. Thank you. Why teach your students something like this, the River Rocks? Is it a good place to learn? I still don't know. We came here from Holland and as you know Holland has only mud <laughs> and water. We don't have we don't have stones and somebody said to me well go painting west coast and stones and whatever so I give it a try and it succeeded very well. We already saw a lot of stone paintings. And now my students here want to learn that too, of course. Right. So I try to teach them. And we, we spoke on the phone. Yeah, and yeah. I said, I can't even draw a stick person. I, I am artistically challenged uh, by every uh, step of the way. What could you teach anybody to paint? If someone who doesn't... Even you. Even me. He hasn't <laughs> seen my stick people yet. <laughs> I made it all up for you, it's ready to go, <laughs> but we need uh, probably the whole afternoon, but okay, we yeah. can do it. We and what is the sometime. foundation? What is the foundation? Where would you start with something like this from someone well, who knows nothing? first I go to the beach, yeah. and then I make a nice college of stones, and my wife is very good in that, and then I make a picture, and yeah, then I start just start painting. Mm -hmm. This is also a college we made. And I made it really simple for my uh, artists here. I got here something more difficult. Mm -hmm. I will put away this brush. I'll of hold course. it for you. Are you it's, got it? Well, it's quite dangerous, and I don't want to spoil your okay. nice. Okay, uh, I can hold one of these. Yeah, so this well, is a series that you have that you're working on now, right? Yes, I call it hidden treasures because there's something into it. There are lots of very good painters here on the island, and I try to do something different, of course. Right. Let's see yeah? this one, yes. Because I'm from Holland, and I'm totally not aware. So I made a little jewelry here, it's hidden. And my exhibition in Tosh next month. On the That's the old school house in Colican Beach. School house, yes. Yes, most people know that. Yeah, Korean's all very nice. And she gave us a chance to do an exhibition there. So you're all invited. Come on with 300,000, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> And you see the hidden treasures like gold uh, and old glasses, whatever. And here the old key, of course. And so I got a whole bunch of, of that. And the opening is taking place on February the 5th. That's a Wednesday, the old schoolhouse in Qualicum Beach. We're going to look at some more of Michael's work later on this edition of Go Island. I, it's safe to say that you will be very impressed if you're not already. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back. Can Clippers goalie Jason Argue excel at other sports and the addition of cloth that started it all? That's still ahead today on Go. Did you know in 1921 a freighter belonging to the Holland America Line docked in Vancouver called the Mordike? 
it unloaded a 32 mile piece of cable. That's a big piece of cable onto a small cable ship called the Iolana tied up alongside. And less than three months later, that cable connected Point Grey on the mainland with Nanaimo here on Vancouver Island. It was one of the big cable laying projects of its day here on the west coast. We're discovering a lot today about artist and musician Michael Scuta. This is a mural that he painted here in his studio in French Creek. And what's on the other side of this wall is a whole other world. It is a fully functioning music studio. There's a green screen in there and everything. We'll be back to host a future edition of Go Island in that room. But they have parties here. You start out there, you make a CD, you walk through, you get your photo in full sort of medieval garb in front of the castle. And then you come and create some art for the front of your very own CD. I think this is where I'll be having my next birthday party. And it is really just the tip of the iceberg of all of the things that Michael and his wife Els are involved with. The best way to reach them is probably the old-fashioned telephone, 250-586-6370. We're moving from an artistic world into the world of sports. The Nanaimo Clippers goalie Jason Argue is having a really good season this year. Dan Marshall finds out if he's excelling at other sports as well. And just a note, in case you didn't know already, Dan Marshall, of course, does play-by-play -play for all of the Clippers' home and away games. We're pretty happy to have him as a part of our Shaw TV family. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're going to continue our conversation with Michael here in French Creek. This is Sandor. It's Sandor. Yeah. He's Tell me about him. He's living in Arrington. And the poor guy has a crippled wing. He will never fly again. Yeah, that's so pitiful. And I made lots of photographs of him. And then I decided to make a nice painting. I also went to Duncan and photographed this eagle. So now he's looking to his wooden uh, family. family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the First Nations artistic style something that you're yeah. embracing and learning oh, about yeah. moving I, here? I love that. I yeah. lo yeah, we have lots of uh, native friends. And they're all very artistic, very good in wood curving. and. Those are really great guys. I, I, I love their whole stuff. So I tried to make a combination of that. A lot of people are going to know Sandor because yep. he lives and probably will to the end of his days at the Wildlife Recovery Association in Arrington. In Arrington. And I asked them, well, would you like to have this painting? And try to sell it and then everything is for you to help Sandor. And ha having a soft spot for animals in need is not oh, yes. something new to you. You bring no. that with you from the yes. Netherlands. I always try to do something good with my painting talent. And uh, I was involved in the beer sanctuary in Holland. And that's a great place to be. The people are walking in cages and the beers are roaming free there. I love that. I and think they're that's all, fabulous. Yes, they're all Russian chain beers. In Russia, it's sometimes the only income of a family, so that's pitiful. And they let the beer fighting on ferries against dogs. They draw the teeth out, the claws out, and the beer has to stumble and fight with the dogs. And that's so entertainment. And I'd never heard of such a thing, and it just oh makes my skin crawl. Awful. It's awful. So, yeah, I saw a lot of paintings there. And with that money, we buy the beers. And they can recover in Holland and have a nice retirement. How are you going Wonderful. to sell this painting to help the eagles in Arrington? Yes, well, um, we're going to put it on the Tosh in the old schoolhouse and let's see if we can sell it there. I told Amy about it from the recovery, she was very enthusiastic about it. Also John Borello from the QF, he was also very enthusiastic. And well, let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay. And then Sander is probably very happy. We haven't even begun to show you the range of artistic styles and talent that Michael has. We're going to save a bit more time and hopefully show you more of that later on this edition of Go Island after another short break. These are not just two random people taking a leisurely stroll along Qualicum Beach. They are people dear, dear to your heart. Oh, absolutely. Maxine Morris from the Blue Willow Cast House and a friend Jim. When we arrived here in February, we were standing at the airport with six trunks, nothing more, and there was not one car available because there was something going on in Whistler. So I called her 
And she said, no big deal, I'm going to pick you up. So she drove four hours, including the ferry, picked us up, and showed us around. And it was really wonderful. She helped us tremendously. And you didn't know her? You'd never met her? You no. were just a registered guest at her guest she house? She is a little angel on earth. She's so oh. sweet. She helped us with everything, lending us a car, give us advice about everything here. Maxine, thank you. And Jim, too. You're wonderful. Great and people. And you're going to... And this is a present for Maxine for her guest house. It's huge. <laughs> and it's the Qualicum Bay. And they're walking together to the sunset. Beautiful. Thank Beautiful, you so a much. very lovely story. We're going to throw things over now to two guys who might not appreciate being called lovely, but they are Todd Jones and Derek Johnstone on the very first ever edition of Clocked. Well, lots of great reasons to check out the dinghy dock for yourself. On Friday, January the 24th, you can catch Nick Begg, Ryan McMahon, and Clear the Coast. There's an on the dock series going on there. On February the 8th, David Gogo for an acoustic show. And an evening with Will is taking place on February the 22nd on the dock at the dinghy dock pub. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. Just another reminder that Michael is hosting a show at the old school house in Qualicum Beach on on February the 5th, a 7 o'clock reception party, and you are invited to meet the man that we've met here today. Thanks for watching Go Island. We'll see you next time. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Matteo Salon.